We got through the commissioning process in the first quarter um, and ultimately started injecting on the 1st of April. And then our first product, first boric acid product came out, it was either the 27th or the 28th of April. So we are officially in production. Welcome to those tuning in to the Assay TV Wednesday. I'm delighted to be joined by JT Starvecki, Chief Marketing Officer of 5E Advanced Materials. Welcome. Thank you. It's good to be here. So can you just briefly introduce the company to some of our viewers? Sure. So 5E Advanced Materials, we have built a project in the central Mojave Desert in California where we're mining a product called boron, ultimately to be turned into boric acid. Excellent. And just before we get into the project, can you tell us a little bit about your team, some of the expertise you have on board? Definitely. We have a, a very well-qualified board, um, a lot of background in mining with some of the larger majors, Rio Tinto, um, BHP. We okay. also then have quite a few people from a financing perspective, big banks, Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Um, and then we sort of round it out with project-related skill sets. So places like Weatherford and Shell. Um, so from that perspective, we've got a, just a fantastic leadership team at, at the board level. And at the executive level, um, myself, I've spent the last 19 years in the greenfield mining space. Mm -hmm. um, our CFO is former PE, also mining. And then our chief executive has a lot of experience in sort of the automotive electrification, uh, battery technology. So very successful. Yeah. Team there. And speaking of successful teams, your operations team just managed to achieve their first production of boric acid. Can you explain a little bit more about that? We did. Um, so let me take you back probably six months. We yeah. um, in the fall of last year, so the fall of 23, we got through all of our EPA conditions, started to do a product or a, a testing mechanism called step rate testing because we're in situ leaching. You essentially inject water down hole, test the casing. Okay. We got through that process um, and then began the uh, commissioning process. We got through the commissioning process in the first quarter um, and ultimately started injecting on the 1st of April. And then our first product, first boric acid product came out, I believe it was either the 27th or the 28th of April. So we are officially in production. Excellent. And the end goal there is to secure a supply chain of boron in America, I'm guessing? Uh, definitely. <laughs> so boron itself has a lot of defense related applications. Yeah. So the U.S. Department of Defense is a, a very strong and hopefully growing partner for us. Um, a lot of boric acid is used to create what we call derivative products. And there'll be products that'll be used, whether it be in armor for vehicles or personal body armor through munitions, through rocket and space technology. So yeah, ultimately uh, a lot of the boron where is, is produced in places like China and Russia. Mm. Um, and that becomes an interesting, you know, geopolitical situation. Um, so for us, yes, our, the plan is to not only mine it in the United States, but also process it in the United States. Well, you've mentioned it, it's utilized for defense, et cetera, but where is its place in, you know, the green energy transition? That's what everyone wants to know nowadays. Yeah. Where, where do we see it in decarbonization? So great question, um, specifically in, in permanent magnets. Okay. Um, so the permanent magnets that are developed to, to create wind turbines. Um, boric acid is also used in the construct of the turbine blade itself. Um, but then also high, high end glass products. So the glass that'll sit on the outside of a solar panel. Um, and it also has five or six applications, whether that's acoustics or chassis construction in any electric vehicle or vehicle that is being electrified. So, very versatile then. Yeah, very much so. Moving on to money, how well funded are we looking for 2024-25? So earlier in the year, uh, we completed a restructuring agreement of our convertible note, but more importantly to that, we brought in a fresh set of equity. So we brought in about $17.5 million. Nice. Um, so that was a nice <laughs> injection into the organization. With our run rate, that gives us clear runway through the end of, uh, or to the backside of 2024. Um, we have a couple of different non-dilutive funding sources that were sort of at the tail end of. Um, royalty structures, potential customer off, off or prepayments for offtake agreements, but then specifically the Department of Defense. So we've got multiple funding applications that are 
right on the goal line. Very, right? very yeah. well funded. <laughs> and, and, and when you look at it from sort of when the decision process could happen, obviously we have an election in November. Yeah. So that's sort of the guidepost that all funds have to be dispersed leading into or prior to that election. So we're feeling very confident in where we are from a funding perspective. Excellent. Just to round things up, just for our investors, can you highlight just some of the major milestones coming up in the next few months? Definitely. So um, we've already started to produce boric acid. Um, we want a we want us our operation to start consistently kicking out technical grade on spec um, boric acid. Once we get that, and that should be imminent, we will then start the customer qualification process. So we've got multiple customers already lined up, ready to take product, test it in their lab, and then ultimately go into what what we'll call tank or production testing. So taking our product and actually producing their end product. So there's going to be some commercial catalysts. The government funding has a few different things that we think will come to fruition this year. Um, the U.S. government is redoing their critical minerals list, mm -hmm. and we've been briefing all the way up into the Department of Interior on a very regular basis. So we do think that we've got a stronger than average chance of actually getting boron on the critical minerals list. Okay. Um, and we've got three funding uh, programs that we're running that we expect to hear on in 2024. So you know, a funding catalyst or two from the U.S. government would be amazing. Um, uh, so you've got commercial, you've got government, and then we'll continue to, to educate the market on how our process and production is going with, you know, large scale production, customer qualification, and also the ability to, to scale up that production and increase our run rate. So a lot of stuff coming. Sounds in like 20. a strong, strong yeah, year. Yeah, a lot of stuff a. coming in 24. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us and I hope you enjoy the event. Appreciate it. Thank you.